Amazon has launched the Seller Experience Lab. What is that and how is it really going to affect you? My name is Noah, I'm with my Amazon guy and we're gonna talk about exactly what the Seller Experience Lab is, how it's going to help fuel your business going forward and what you can utilize in it to make sure that you're actually getting the most out of the platform. So first and foremost, let's talk about what is Seller Experience Lab. It is Amazon's new platform inside Seller Central that lets you essentially manage your business the way that Seller Central should have let you from the start shows you a lot of different data for everything from your products to how your brand is doing, your customer engagement, everything in between. And it's all in one nice little dashboard for you to manage. So how do you get to experience the Seller Experience Lab? Well, if you come over to your homepage under recommendations, you'll probably see this, which says Seller Experience Lab. So for this Seller Experience Lab, you just click on this and it'll let you test it out. You might have to edit a few global permissions if you are not the brand owner or the owner of the account, but it'll take you to this page. So a couple things first off to just notice when you're on this page, you'll see, for instance, you have my business, which just gives you today's sales as well as, you know, looking at the overall sales, of the account, we can change this. So very similar to business reports in the sense, very high level gets you a lot of good information on the account. Then same thing with orders. You have everything to be able to see for your orders, even Amazon fulfilled in one area without having to switch over. And then you have your news, your seller forums, etc. Next, we also have our action items over here. So some things that have to happen on the account, you know, inbound performance, stranded inventory, etc. And one thing to note here that I thought was interesting up at the top here for my business, you can actually create products, create a shipment to Amazon and create campaigns all in one area. So essentially we are able to create anything from a product all the way to advertising all in one little dashboard here. Now, under the manage business, we have a couple of things. We can manage products, we can manage inventory, shipments, pricing, orders, etc. So let's do, for instance, manage account health. So this will bring up a pop-up and bring you straight into your account health. So again, as you can see, this is kind of like what Seller Central should have looked like and operated like from the very beginning. It essentially gives you the access to everything in a very succinct manner, gives you all of the different documents that you need. Again, we can go over here to products. What this is gonna do, it's gonna give us a good understanding of what's actually happening with our products. I love this listing status little window. It's very difficult on the current Seller Central platform to understand how you know your overall listings are doing, if you're actually doing well on them, if you're actually getting a you know, inactivity, anything in between. Whereas this one gives you essentially everything all in one. You don't have to go through manage inventory and look at each of your listings and then go into, you know, the search suppression. This just shows you exactly what is going on with your products right here. Same thing with conversion rate. I love this chart because we do not get enough data overall on conversion rate in easy fashion in the current seller central. You usually have to go through, get your own conversion rate in some way, shape or form. They'll give you purchase rate and ICAP and everything, but having an actual little box here to just tell you very quickly, hey, what's my conversion rate yesterday? Oh, 29%, right? Very, very nice to have something like this. Next, we'll have as well, uh, essentially our inventory. So our inventory, it's just the performance index, right? So we're understanding again, what is happening with our overall inventory. This is all about what is happening inside the FBA warehouse. So we'll see, for instance, what we have for aged inventory, if there is any, what it is on a time frame. So we can actually see on a unit level, we're no longer looking on ASIN level. We are looking from a business standard level, right? Because this again, gives a very micro, we can understand, we can click into it, see the exact products but also macro, where we just get the overall look at how the business is doing. You can see all of our storage utilization here, our inventory performance, our current shipments, what's going on, even down to the status of each one. So very, very nice to see all of this. Next, we have our orders. Again, very, very nice to see everything going on on the account. We'll head on over to payments here. You can see your entire payment dashboard. Nothing really changed on this payment dashboard versus the normal seller central payment dashboard, but still interesting to have it here nonetheless. Then we have our customer feedback. So again, we're essentially taking everything for NX rate. So everything from NSX rate and where actual customer feedback is for both our feedback, for product feedback, everything as well 
as our customer segmentation here. So I think this is really interesting to get all of that kind of information all in one little succinct area. Now, seems like there is one more here and that would be our marketing. So this is where I think it's the most interesting. Normally you have Seller Central and then you have advertising.amazon. They're technically different platforms doing different things, but technically we don't have the full advertising in here yet. It is primarily just our promotional offers, our A plus, and our experiments that are going on. They do have this little box for advertising. I have not seen it working as of yet. So interested to see if they are going to get this advertising box working to where we could control advertising and everything else on the account all in one little platform. Would love to see that moving forward. But overall, I think this is a really, really cool. Again, this is in beta technically right now, but I think it makes everything just so much easier for the end consumer. It makes seller's life a lot easier to have all of these features in one area. Does this fully replace everything we can do with Seller Central? No, not necessarily, but it gets pretty close at the end of the day. I mean, again, we're seeing everything from being able to manage a business, uh, especially one that, you know, you're already doing very well, fairly well on, you know, it, it's about there from where I would like to see it. We even have some things where we can come over to create gives you an understanding of everything you can create here very quickly. We need to create inventory shipment. Cool. If we have to want to make a new campaign or a new deal or a new experiment, all of this is right here. So again, I think overall, this is getting much, much closer to what seller central and the UI, the platform in general should have been long ago. Do I think it replaces it entirely? No, but I do really, really like this feature from Amazon. I wish they would have done this years ago, but I'm just glad that we have it now. So moving forward, I think I'm going to be making use of this a lot on a lot of different accounts. It's going to be really, really helpful to essentially get a very high level view and just go through and utilize all this data very quickly without having to export anything, without having to go through certain reports. So super cool to see this, super cool to see what's coming next. And I hope that they keep improving on this because this would be amazing to have this fully kind of replace Seller Central at some point.